on my computer and my chair. And um, some of our staff has lost their home. Um, some of them have lost family members down in Port-au-Prince and Carfu. Um, some of them have had their own families in the house that collapsed, but thankfully they were able to get pulled out and they were uh, not injured severely. So the right now, my um, daughter Lori is with some missionaries going down into Port-au-Prince to see the damage there and do some filming and um, just to see where we could maybe help uh, others that um, have lost everything. Dixie, it sounds absolutely terrifying. I have to tell you that here in Southwest Florida, we have a number of Haitians taking part in the program, and I'm absolutely sure they would like to ask you uh, some questions about what's happening in Haiti. Would any of you uh, like to speak to Dixie and ask her a question about uh, what's happening? Shirley? Could you, it's probably horrific for you to do so, but could you paint a picture of what's going on right now? Right now on CNN, it's kind of like repeating the same pictures, and we know the capital has been affected, and we see the people in the school children, but is there anything else that they're not showing? Um, it, it's hard to say. You know, this happened at 5 o'clock, and by the time we all kind of got over the shock of what had happened, because it was so strong, um, and, and the way it came at us, it, the way it shook the buildings back and forth, it, it took us a while to get over the shock, and by that time it was dark, um, because it gets dark early here now, like 5.30, 4 to 6. And then it's hard to do things at night, and we were just trying to get the children settled. So we were not aware during the night what, if anything, was being done. Um, I did, our son um, was, um, saw um, walls that had fallen down on Delma that had covered people. You could see arms sticking out and legs sticking out, and, and some dead children on the side of the road um, as he came up from school at 10 o'clock that black night. And it, it, the, the, I think it is such an overwhelming um, disaster. And I, if you know Haiti, you know how the houses are built so close to each other. And it's like a domino effect on Delma. Um, it starts at the street and it goes back. And so uh, they're going to be digging out for weeks. 